Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am doing the makeup book tag. So as always I will link the creators video down below as well as all of the questions. I do want to say that I changed up a few of the questions like the order just because I feel like the order was kind of weird and I wanted to fit the questions in with the way that I do my makeup so I changed the questions around a little bit and I'm not a pro at makeup. I have been doing my makeup like this for a very very long time but I'm not pro at it and it takes a lot of practice so in no way am I saying that like this is how you should do your makeup or anything like that I think everybody does their makeup differently to suit them and their skin I do have a skincare routine on my second channel which I'll link down below as well as a more detailed uh, tutorial or like how I do my makeup really, I will link those videos down below so you can go check them out. And I'm not going to link all of the products or brushes or anything in this video because I use way too many things and it'll just, it'll be too long. But I have linked everything in my tutorial that I did on my other channel. Um, so that video obviously will be linked in here. So if you are searching for the products that I did use, they will be in that video. Oh yes, and my Halloween earrings for today are just these orange studs. I think they're really, really cute, but I'm definitely feeling Halloween-ish with my outfit. All right, so let's just get into the video. Number one, primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression. So I'm gonna go with a series that I finished back in September. And that was the uh, Dollar series by Pepper Winters. That was definitely a series that left an impression, lasting impression. I marathoned that series within like a couple days and it was so good. And I'm just using the Maybelline uh, Master Prime Primer in Hydrate and Smooth. Number two, foundation. I'm looking over here because my computer is here with the questions. Uh, pick your favorite first book in a series. I have two picks for this one and that is Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. This I think is a great first book in the series. I, I mean it's the book that made me continue reading the series so I loved this. And then also On Dublin Street by Samantha Young is a really good first book in a series. I think this is the only book in that series that I gave five stars to. I might have given them all five stars. I can't remember, but these are two of my favorite first books in the series. And the foundation that I use is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish in 100 Ivory. And I do use a Real Techniques sponge. I go kind of a little heavy on the foundation because I feel like the sponge takes a lot of it off. So I sometimes do go a little heavy. Concealer, pick a character you wish you could get rid of. I am gonna go with um, Nan from the Rosemary Beach series. I hate her so much and her last book didn't really even redeem herself that much. So I would get rid of her. And for concealer, I am using the Maybelline Master Conceal um, in 20 Light. Oh shoot, I forgot a step. Usually before I go in with my concealer, I go in with an eyeshadow primer. So I just use the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion in Original. And I just apply that and just rub it in with my fingers. And then I usually apply my concealer. And then I kind of go with the excess and just kind of put it on my eyes. And kind of rub it more in with my finger. Number four, powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. That is definitely some kind of perfect by Kristen Becker Ritchie. Honestly, like I feel like my favorites in the series are Addicted After All, Feel the Fire, Hot House Flower, and then this one. So, um, yes, that is my favorite last book in a series. And the powder I use is the Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel London. And I actually don't really put this all over my face just yet. I just kind of set my eyes. I have like the weirdest makeup routine, I swear. But I feel like it works for me, so. Number five, eyeshadow. Pick a book that has your favorite colors 
on the cover. And for that I'm going with the Raving King by Maggie Stewater. I love blue. Blue is a color that as much as I want to like distance myself from it because I feel like I just gravitate towards blue stuff all of the time. It's very annoying especially when it's like home decor. I just gravitate towards blue. Um, but I love this cover. I think it's so so pretty and I love the blues. Now for the eyeshadow I use the Wet n Wild trio in Walking on Eggshells. I use this color on my lid and that's the only color I use in here. I use a different color for my crease which I will show you in a minute. And then I use this Maybelline little quad thing um, in I think it's like coffee tones or natural tones or something and I use this color um, in my crease. Number six, eyeliner pick, a dark and mysterious book. I'm going with The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tour. I feel like this is a really dark and mysterious book, kind of thriller-ish, but definitely dark and mysterious. And I really, really love this book and the trilogy. It's great. The eyeliner that I use is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I just use this. I'm going to bring my mirror a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. And then I kind of wait for my eyeliner to dry and I do other things. So number seven, eyebrows. A book that you think everyone should read. And for this I'm picking I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This I think is a really, really beautiful and heartfelt book that I think more people should read. And I really should reread this actually. I really, really loved it. This was my first Jandy Nelson book and I just thought it was amazing. And she is definitely oddly enough, like an auto-buy author for me. And I have pretty great eyebrows naturally, so I don't really use a lot of products. I just kind of fill them in a little bit with Elmay Brow Pencil in Brunette. And this is just kind of what I use. I just kind of fill in a little bit. I don't go crazy. And then I do kind of brush them out after. I know I really should brush them before, but I don't. Number eight, mascara. Pick a long book. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This is definitely a long book. I feel like it took me three to four days to read this, I think. Um, it's, it's a big, it's a big one and it's super floppy. And I feel like the writing is pretty tiny, so yeah. Um, how many pages is this? This is 771 pages, so it's a big one. And usually I just curl my lashes first. And then I actually apply my false lashes and then I apply mascara. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to do my eyelashes, um, like false lashes off camera so I can concentrate. And for my lashes, I usually use the Ardell Wispies. Um, and I usually cut them myself because sometimes they're a little too long for my eyes. So I do cut um, the corners a little bit. And I just use the Duo Glue in Dark Tone. I just realized I was not filming that part. But I finished my lashes and then I went in with my mascara and this is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And then I'm going to go on my lower lash line down here and I'm going to go with the color that I used in my crease. I just kind of smudge it in here and I make ridiculous faces. And then I kind of rub it out with my finger a little bit too. And then I have a different lower lash line or lower mascara. Um, that I use, and this is the Maybelline Define a Lash. Now on to contour. Pick a book that could do with some slimming down. I'm picking Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I feel like this book definitely could have used some trimming up. It's a pretty big book, and I do think it could have been shortened a little bit. Um, there were just some kind of unnecessary scenes and stuff, but yeah. And for contour, I use the NYX Blush in Taupe, and I kind of go lightly with this. I feel like I'm not the best at doing contour or like bronzer. I'm just not really that great at it, but you have to be careful with this because sometimes it can look a little muddy. And then I go in with some bronzer and I use the... Uh, beauty balm from Physicians Formula, and I just kind of apply this on top of that. 
All right, number 10, blush. Pick a book that has some cringe-worthy romance. And for this, I'm going with Until November by Aurora Rose Reynolds. I love the series so much. I love this book so much. But it definitely did have a bit of like cringe-worthiness to it. Um, however, I still loved it anyways. So <laughs> the cringe-worthy romance don't really bother me. I totally okay with it. So um, I really, I really did love this book. For blush, I use a broken one that's in a bag. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Deep Rose. I kind of use a little bit of more of like a plummy pink. I just think it goes well with my skin tone. So I apply that on the apples of my cheeks. I just keep it in the Ziploc bag. I'm so trashy. And then I usually kind of go with powder. So I'm going to go back in with the Rimmel powder and just kind of go all over my face. Number 11, highlight to pick a book that brightened your day. I'm going with Sultry by Lexi Buchanan. This is definitely a book that brightens my day and makes me a lot happier. I think I've read it like three or four times already, so um, it's definitely a favorite. And the highlight that I use is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals. And I just use this on my cheekbones, like top of my cheekbones right here. I don't really put it anywhere else because I tend to get I think I went a little too much on there but I tend to get oily like I have oily skin so and the last question 12 lipstick your favorite book kiss for that I am picking hot house flower by Kristen Becca Ritchie Rankin Daisy their first kiss is one of my favorites and it's a kiss that I like remember vividly reading and be like oh my god they finally kiss they finally kiss and yeah, I think this is like one of my favorite book kisses of all time. Lipstick I am using today, the Maybelline uh, Matte in Touch of Spice, which is literally like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. There you go, and that is my finished makeup look. This is how I do my makeup for videos or for if I'm doing like a special event thing. <laughs> I don't wear my makeup like this every day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!